Hey friends, my name is Jesse Pence and welcome to my client side routing project. So um, I built a single page application in a single file, about 450 lines of code, all the CSS, JavaScript, HTML, everything just all lumped together. Um, no separation of concerns, nothing, but it's got quite a lot of features. Um, let me just go ahead and show it to you. No point in beating around the bush. Um, we've got over here, we're on the product page. We go back to the products. We have multiple ones. It's fetching data every time. Uh, up here, we have the product that showed up before, but if we go back to nothing, we have both of them. Creepy toy brings up the creepy toy. We have a toggle theme up here. Um, they're not great, but they are themes. Um, and you can pr <laughs> press refresh, the theme persists. You change it again, press refresh, the theme persists, add items to the cart, boom, and there it is. And we refresh, still there, we can add another one. Why don't we add this $200 toy to the cart? Bam, go to the cart, we can now remove these, and when we get them both out of here, especially that toy, it's horrible, the card is empty, go buy one of the two amazing items. You can refresh it, um, and I messed up, uh, and you can refresh it here, uh, and then wherever you go, um, I will show you this one more thing. Um, in the console, I actually have it so you can show every single one of my functions is rendered over here. So it notices it's a static route, Products component is rendering, it goes and fetches the data, but the script is fully loaded then. So that's how you can know it's an asynchronous um, function. And then the products start rendering, and then the render function runs with the two products. And we change the link behavior of everything on the page. And part of how you can know it's a multi-page application and is that when we go to another page, it does not change the link behavior, again, of the products on the top. Go back to products, those came off the page, we remove the link behavior, and we come back and they get changed again. And um, so that is the core of all the features. You can, you know, it's uh, not much of a website, but you know, I don't, you didn't want to go too crazy. I just wanted to have a lot of fun features so that like, you know, you can see that you don't need something like React to be able to do this kind of fun stuff. Um, but I will tell you right now, it is absolutely much, much easier <laughs> with something like React. This took me a little while to actually get everything right. And there's still a couple bugs that you'll have to wait till the end to see um, because they're, they're fun. And if you know anything about programming, you're probably already calling them out. Um, and uh, you'll have to join me for this adventure if you want to know more about that. And um, so, yeah. Um, a little bit more about me. You can stop the video now if you don't care. Um, my name is Jesse Pence. Um, I'm 33. I quit drinking at the beginning of this year and I devoted myself to programming. Um, didn't know anything. I had made my MySpace pages back in the day, um, but it, it, that wasn't really much. It was just some blinking uh, CSS and some silliness. Um, but you know, I, I just started this year and I started really putting my heart into it and I've, it's been, what started as just the idea of a new career has really become an obsession. I, it's all I think about all the time. I really, really am in love with programming and hopefully I can try to instill some of that joy in you. If you watch these videos and follow along with my tutorials, um, I try to keep it really educational and fun at the same time. So hopefully, um, you enjoy it and let's get moving before I bore the death out of all of us.